Greetings Guardians, Matt in the hat here and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Destiny 2, um, going on to one of the final story events or missions I believe, uh, it's just under, yeah just under a month and 10 days till Lightfall drops. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Curious. Hmm. Right, let's go see Rasputin. Uh, Rasputin. If we can, like, stay on the beaten path. Oop. My combat simulations continue, but. The parameters provided by the Reef's Tachyons are not promising. I have yet to devise a tactical use of the Warsats that will not empower the Zivu Arath. It may not be a possibility. However, we also cannot allow the Wrathborn to take control of the Warsats themselves. My internal algorithm has nearly all the requisite data to finish my reconstruction. Retrieving more will accelerate the process. I also have a special request. There is a war mine terminal in the Cosmodrome that is not linked to the rest of the network. Oh. While it does not contain any submine data, the files stored within are of critical importance. I need you to procure them. I will provide you with security clearance once you have recovered the next cache of submine data. The Guardian. Thank you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ah, I love that little bit at the end there. Guardian. Mm, thank you. Alright. We need one of those. So we'll speak to the hollow projector this time. Just turn the music down a little bit. <laughs> I keep coming back to a question that's been bugging me. Did I do the right thing? Yes, of course Teaching you did. Rasputin art philosophy, culture, transforming him from something capable of imitating human consciousness into this. Rasputin suffers because I made him capable of suffering. I always knew he would be a weapon of war, so was it right to make a weapon have self-doubts? Was it right to bring him back online when he'd shut himself down after the collapse? Elsie <laughs> says she lives her life in a circle. Repeating the same tragedies over and over again. And that's what's happening to Rasputin, too. The collapse is here again, and. And maybe there's no solution. Maybe there's no hope for the future. Maybe. I should go. Cool. Anna does not seem to be in a great place at the moment. That is, uh, <laughs> if only we could, like, comfort characters and whatnot. But, I shall catch you guys on the other side of a, uh, what do you, the ice battleground, when we open the chest. Oh, <sighs> sorted. Ah, oh, just in time as well. The ley line crossroads throughout the ascent. The red bar, non seasonal weapon. And my corsairs cannot dissuade their movements. I suppose the red bar, path of least resistance as well. That is not bad. Time to head into this new operation mission Operation Sankus. That's in the Cosmodrome. Right over here. It contains the most highly classified files in my archives. Interesting. By design, they have been completely isolated from the network. You must physically retrieve them. Handle them with care, Guardian. Not even Anna knows of their existence. Ah, well, this certainly is interesting, then. <sighs> the entrance to the bunker is ahead of you. Clear the area, and I will open the door. 
Oh, is this the strike location? Oh, this will be pretty cool if it's the strike location. Ah. Oh, it's all been sort of done up and whatnot. So it doesn't, like, look like the strike mission. How many times have these bunkers been breached? The fallen, the hive, the taken. And for what? My arsenal was insufficient against the Black Fleet. Now it poses as much a threat to humanity as our enemies. I see you hiding there. Oh, so I don't have to go up there then. Are we just literally going As the war mind, my primary objective has straight been to the boss humanity room. survival. To achieve that objective, I engaged in espionage, sabotage, murder, Ooh. all acts of tyranny, all unforgivable. But one of them was particularly egregious an order I nearly executed that would have haunted me to this day got no ammo oh I see some more I do hate that the, well, I don't hate it, but <laughs> there's a pain in the backside that the Seraph shotgun double fires. Additional fallen raiders detected. Eliminate them before I unseal the next door. There's some heavy ammo. Oh, this is an elevator. When the collapse began, I feared the traveler would abandon Earth. So, I reactivated the protocol to use the war sats against it. Oh, oh God. I intended to immobilize the traveler, to force it to stay. But in the end, I aborted the firing sequence. Anna does not remember this, but it was she who convinced me to stop. She has always been the angel on my shoulder. My humanity. She is the reason that I am more than a weapon. I am Rasputin because of Anna Bray. Wow. Thank you for retrieving the files, Guardian. They must be preserved at all costs. Due to their sensitive nature, I cannot risk uploading them to the network. But they should be safe in the Vanguard's possession. Bring them back to the helm. I will decrypt them here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guess we'll head on down to the helm as well. We'll just go right there. That is an interesting little mission. That is for sure. Pardon me. You have my gratitude for securing the files. It would have been inadvisable to leave them unattended, given recent developments. I... Apologize for not disclosing their existence earlier. To do so required a level of trust I have not held for a considerable time. But, as always, you proved equal to the task. 
the Traveler chose you well. I once employed human agents in a similar manner. I dubbed them Seraphs, granted them access to experimental armaments and armor. At times I wonder if I predicted the Traveler's creation of Guardians, or if I independently deemed my avatars worthy of such responsibility. Huh. Whatever my intrinsic reasoning, the results were sound. You and the Seraphs are kindred spirits, stalwart defenders of your kind. In the past, we are indeed. I have made errors in judgment. Decisions based on faulty premises and flawed moral frameworks. But you are proof that the Seraph Protocol was no such error. Choosing to trust humanity may have been the best of my decisions. I do not know what the ultimate outcome of this war will be. But come what may, we will fight together. <laughs> we will fight together indeed. Ah. I got part four as well, but I haven't finished part three yet. Uh Ah, so I guess we just listened to this last message RAS, and that'll be it for this week. Oh, Sorry. I'm so used to you being more machine, more directive driven and less... I wish this had come for you at a better time. I I can grant you this one analytical certainty. There is never a better time. There is only in time. We're too late. Hmm. You're right. Like always. I nice suppose that brings us to another point. I am not always right. <laughs> I have done things in the name of preserving the human species that are abominable. They were the mathematically correct choice. But they were not the right one. My new exomind pathways have given me an opportunity to review a lifetime of decisions. <laughs> to weigh them against emotional and moral conceits that I was not, in the moment, capable of comprehending. Others have called me a tyrant. They're wrong. They are not. You have given me the ability to objectively see my own value. <laughs> but also the ways in which my value has imposed a negative sum to the collective well-being of humanity. It is the sum of an equation I am still trying to balance. But that does not mean your work has been in vain. You gave me choice and free will. And I did with it what I thought was right. That is the sum of your life's work. I see now. At the time of our final calculus, the value in them, the value in emotion, in caring, in how humans make both logical and illogical conclusions from the same points of data, and why both are valuable. Thank you, Red. No matter what comes <laughs> in the future, I will always cherish the life you have given me. Well, that bit at the end that was definitely uh, quite heartfelt and hard hitting, uh, that is for sure. But I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, um, it's quite a sh another short one, um, not a great deal been on, quite a bit of reflection again, uh, Rasputin sent us what on a little retrieval mission and so we went and retrieved a classified thingamajig for him uh yeah that's it really um but thanks for watching this video there might be another destiny video before lightfall comes out but i'm not sure but for now thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day